The changing leaves across the country is often one of the best parts about the autumn season. The vibrant colors against a crisp fall day almost makes losing summer worth it. And Canada is one of the best places in the world to view it. But really, we should be thanking chlorophyll, or lack of it, for the cross-country spectacle. Remember the all-important biomolecule that aids in photosynthesis, which allows plants to absorb energy from light? Well, during our spring and summer months, chlorophyll breaks down with exposure to light, kind of like how a paper would fade in the sunlight. Plants are constantly trying to reproduce chlorophyll to replace the faded chlorophyll. In autumn, the production of chlorophyll slows down and then eventually stops. And this is when the bright colors are revealed. Because chlorophyll is green, it actually masks the underlying yellow and orange pigments in the leaves. They both become visible when the green chlorophyll is gone. The red and purple pigments come out about in a different way. If you see these colors, that's actually the trapped sugars that are manufactured in the fall seasons. So not all plants have these rich colors. Weather plays a huge factor, of course, in what kind of fall display we'll get each year. Temperature, sunlight, and soil moisture are all influencing factors. If during the early fall days there's a lot of sunshine and cool temperatures, the chlorophyll is usually destroyed more rapidly, revealing the colors more quickly. But freezing conditions destroy the leaves altogether, so an early frost means an early end to the colorful foliage. This is the kind of season we've had across much of the eastern half of the country, which is why there are so many great colors already. How about the west? Well, our summer of drought really stressed the trees out for much of BC and parts of the prairies. That triggered an early drop in chlorophyll. You probably noticed the change in colors much earlier than normal, but it also might mean that our leaves won't last as long. So what's the best combination? A summer season with ample moisture that's followed by a rather dry, cool, sunny autumn. It's marked by warm days and cool but frostless nights. That's ideal for the brightest fall colors. And of course, lack of wind and rain in the autumn keeps those leaves up longer. Now that's a lot of factors to come together and every year offers a slightly different treat for this transitional season. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.